Hello, family. Hello, hello, hello. I am down here just uh, doing a walk and checking things out. I normally walk the garden in the morning, check out everything. Like I said, um, a lot of times there's uh, bugs and different things going on with the plants that you have to address. So I am, uh, that's what I normally do in the mornings. So I came down to my melon area yesterday um, to water and I noticed that I had, um, a situation that I haven't experienced before. As you know, uh, we are new to gardening and we are a new channel. So this is our full first garden season. So there's a lot of different things that of course we haven't experienced yet. But um, I just want to show you guys the good, the bad and the ugly because it's not always good. Although we have been truly blessed um, and um, very grateful for all of the uh, provisions that the most high have provided us with there are some things that you know go on in the garden that's out of your control like bugs and different things that may attack your plants and if you're not on top of those things um you know it can get out of hand so i just want to show you what i saw yesterday when i came down to uh to water my not plants all is good as i mentioned and if i was just to get on here and talk about all oh, that's good then that would be deceiving because you would think that you just plant seeds and everything just works out perfectly so here this is my eggplant i realized on my eggplant i found some um some type of poop on here so i'm not sure what kind of bug it is but it is eaten into my eggplant i'm trying to move the leaves so you can see and there's a few of them on this particular plant that has been affected by this. Um, they're eating on the uh, the eggplant. Really attacked that one. So yeah, so I have a few eggplant that has been eaten on. That's why it's important to get out here every day and um, check your leaves to see, um, you know, what's attacking them or what could be on them. Because also, as you can see, they're eating into the eggplant leaves as well. Okay, so, guys. So, we're talking today about the good, the bad, and the ugly in the garden. I've showed you many of the good uh, and all the progress we've had in our garden. Um, but I also want to make sure that I let you see some of the bad and ugly so birds have been eating on my corn so as you can see here they done broke open the husk and started eating all the kernels off of the cob um, and this happened with quite a few of them so yeah so um, that's why I mentioned you have to really get out here and be on top of things going on in your garden but some things are just out of your control. You just can't, it's, it's, it's way out of your control because what was happening is the last couple of days we've had some severe rain and I haven't been able to get out here and check the plants. And uh, so there's a few things that took place that was definitely out of my control, such as that with the corn. So, as I mentioned, you know, I have been posting a lot of the winds that we've been having in the garden thus far. Um, but I also want to be realistic and show you, um, be transparent and show you some of the things that have not been going too well. Over here, I just cut this watermelon off of these, uh, the vine. But I wanted to show you one of my yellow flesh melons split open. And I believe that was due to all of the rain that we've had. So yeah, so this one I was really looking forward to because I've never tried the yellow flesh melon. And then this was one of the ones that was just about ready. <laughs> so yeah. But in any event, we are blessed. We have been uh, having a lot of success in the garden this year for our first garden season so this is not to complain at all but just to guys to let you see that you know 
there are some things in the garden that are out of your control. And then there are some things that are within your control that you just have to stay on top of to prevent damage and things of that nature. So we do have two more of the yellow flush melons here. And I'm just gonna see if we can uh, get those to a full size where we can try them. So still thinking the most high for all of the wins and even all of the losses because those comes with lessons. Um, so yeah, thank him for all the provisions that he provides. And we thank you for joining us and tuning into this video. Please like, subscribe, and comment. Uh, what were some of your challenges this year that you faced in your garden? Uh, what I noticed yesterday also when I came down here is that one of my cantaloupes started to split. Um, this was one of the larger ones that was almost ready as, you know, ready to pick. And it started splitting. And on the bottom of it, it started to decay. So I did some quick research to find out what could possibly cause this. And I found that, you know, they say it could be caused by many different things. The first thing that I found when I was doing research is said inconsistent watering could cause this. Too much watering can cause it. Um, they also mentioned lack of, uh, lack of fertilizing can cause it. I believe they said nitrogen, lack of nitrogen could possibly cause this. Um, and it was a few other things. Oh, temperature, drastic temperature changes between the day and the night. Oh, I don't know where you're located, but here in Georgia Zone 7B, we have been having a lot of inconsistent weather. Um, we had a couple of frosts um, into the summer. And then also um, we've had extreme rains where it would rain uh, two or three days at a time. So it could be excessive water, um, but I'm not really sure of what it is. But in any event, I know that I am going to have to cut this one off and part with this one today um, in order to give the others that are trying to come in um, the opportunity to do well. So I just wanted to share, I want to be very transparent because I don't want people that might be new like myself to think that it's all wins all the time. Um, and as I mentioned, you know, you also um, have to be mindful and be very on top of, you know, your plants and things because there's a lot of bugs and different things that attacks the plants as well. And if you're not out here regularly monitoring and paying attention to what's going on, um, you can have some losses that way as well. So today what I'm going to do is go ahead and cut this one off. Fertilize this with my potassium calcium tea that I have made, which consists of, it was banana peels and orange peels that I soaked in some water for about two weeks with the top on it. I have to add some more water. So I'm gonna be using this um, mixture here to uh, fertilize all of my melon plants today. Because melons are heavy feeders, they do require a lot of uh, fertilizers and um, things like that. So I'm going to be using that to fertilize my melon plants today but in the meantime i am going to go ahead and cut this off the vine trim the vine up and feed it so drop a comment below on some of the challenges that you have faced in your garden this year also have you ever seen um, or experienced any splitting in your melons please drop it in the comments below we would love to hear from you Okay, guys, so this is that cantaloupe that um, was splitting in my garden. I brought it inside, cut it in half. I cut off the um, the parts that was, um, you know, deteriorating. 
and because I just wanted to take a look inside to see what's going on and to even taste it to see how, you know, how it would have been. And also to retrieve my seeds out of it. I took out all of the seeds from there. I rinsed them off and I have them in a strainer. So I cut it in half. Like I said, cut off the um, parts that was no good. And I actually taste a piece and this would have been amazing. It still tastes pretty good. Yeah, these melons would have, are going to be very good. Unfortunately, this one split, but it's not all a loss because this part here could have been um, on the vine another additional week or so to be perfect, but it's still pretty good. It's very sweet. It tastes very fresh and it's very tasty. So yeah, it's not a total loss. At least I got to try it to see what the potential of it was. So I did the same process with the yellow melon as well. Unfortunately, this one was not as sweet, need a little more time, but I did retrieve the seeds. We want to thank you guys for watching. Please like, share, and subscribe and become part of the Sew and Grow family. We look forward to seeing you in the next one.